so yes, we, we are busy uh, now that we have acquired the plant and the facility. We are busy uh, tendering for new work because that's uh, the main blood we need to, to carry on uh, beyond what we have in the factory and what we have found over the acquisition. Uh, the, the key target for 2019 is uh, really South African focused uh, because uh, this is where we are and we are obviously tendering on some maintenance activities, uh, so overrolling of, uh, uh, of trains uh, because we believe we have a, a nice facility here to do that. We have a number of skills we found through the acquisition and uh, as a corporation this is something we do a lot in uh, our activities towards passenger uh, services. Uh, either in Russia or outside Russia. The second type of work we are working on uh, is uh, bidding with an international OEM to be the local uh, manufacturer for them on some diesel locomotives. Uh, so this is actually uh, local content in South Africa for exporting the SADEC region. And uh, this is pretty important for us because it is again putting our skills uh, at work. We have just concluded or about to conclude a contract of this nature and we are trying to replicate and enhance. And that's very interesting because our quality has been recognized by the OEM. So that's good and that's promising for the future. And the last piece of work we are busy doing is uh, working on some uh, locomotive maintenance contract. Uh, on diesel again, and, and this obviously we drill uh, a lot of, or draw a lot of our knowledge and expertise from our um, other company, which currently is uh, maintaining 15,000 locaux. So that's a sizable uh, base, and we are trying to reuse the processes, the skills, the capacity to replicate and be able to do it from, from Bugsburg and from South Africa. In 2020, uh, we want to grow a little bit further and uh, obviously start uh, incorporating what is our strength uh, globally, so our OEM capacity. Uh, so we are busy working uh, on an R&D program jointly from South Africa and from our uh, engineering team in Moscow. And actually not only in Moscow, but Switzerland as well is involved, uh, to develop coaches, uh, narrow gauge coaches for uh, African railways, which are on narrow gauge, either metric or cape gauge. Uh, and which may need passenger coaches. I think we have the ability to refurbish around 50 to 60 locaux per year uh, as part of a mixed plan of, uh, of load. Uh, that's about the, the level we can do, about refurbishing one per week, uh, given the line we dedicate to locomotive refurbishment. But obviously it's always a give and take, so we have a defined space and we are trying to accommodate the workload as we can. So sometimes we are very comfortable, like what you're seeing today, because we have now only one loco being assembled. There was four locos here being assembled at one given point in time. So um, that's a luxury at the moment. We have plenty of space to work and uh, because it's the end of the program. But that's the typical output we can have on maintenance.